Osa on the Eagle. I am Air Force Staff Sergeant Caitlin Jones hanging out this hour with Jared from the Humphreys Family and MWR Youth Services. Hello, Jared. Hello. Thanks again for having me. It's great to be back here. Always a pleasure to see you. And you guys have got tons of stuff going on over there. Um, a lot of summer programs that are starting registration now. Lots of things to talk about today. I'm going to talk about some of the 4-H and Boys and Girls Clubs. I'm going to talk about one of my favorite things that um, you guys have over there at Camp Humphreys, the YCTV. Yeah, it's a great thing. I'm looking forward to talking about that as well. Absolutely. And it's a, a really cool program. So if you have kids over at Camp Humphreys, or if you are a kid over at Camp Humphreys listening to this show, you definitely need to stay tuned because this hour is all about you. So that is coming up next right here on AFN O's on the Eagle. I'm talking about all the great um, events and things that they have going on over there. And as some Summer is kind of approaching very quickly I feel like I just blinked and it's already May tomorrow so you guys definitely you guys probably pick up business a little bit in the summer am I right it's a little bit hit and miss um, you know we lose uh, some youth to summer vacations and mm -hmm. things of that nature um, but the ones who do stick around we really try to step up our programming a little bit more because there really isn't much to do you know sports seasons are over schools over you know the youth that are here looking for you know something to do and, and it's our job to provide that for them. Absolutely and you guys um, have teamed with the Boys and Girls Club of America and also 4-H to offer a huge variety of summer programs um, this year. Kind of tell us a little bit about what's going on for May. Uh, well, well, first of all the Army has a, like you said a partnership with the Boys and Girls Club with 4-H where they actually provide us 4-H and the Boys and Girls Club of America provide us with programming materials lesson plans, resources, marketing tools, everything that we need as youth directors and staff to implement the programs to the Army Army youth. Um, so it's something we do regularly all year round, uh, but coming up in May, we're really trying to make a big push with um, some of our programs, number one being a gardening club that we're trying to start up. And that's going to be a 4-H sponsored program in the summer, and we're going to kick it off on May 2nd. Um, the kid, we, we're inviting the youth to come on out, and we've got permission to start digging and building a garden next to our youth center. Oh, that is so awesome. So I want to take this opportunity, May 2nd at 4 o'clock. Anybody's interested, if you have a shovel, if you have some boots, you have some gloves, bring them on out. Um, and, and we're going to get started to make our uh, youth center look a little bit nicer and, uh, you know, give us something to maintain and take responsibility for for, for for the summertime. That's very interesting. Do you have any idea kind of what you're going to plant yet, or is it still kind of up in the air? It's up in the air, but we also have an idea of what we're going to plant because we had a meeting not too long ago with some of the youth who, um, again, like we always try to do things that the youth want to do. So this right. is something they brought to us. Oh, cool. Um, so we talked to them, you know, kind of survey and see what we want to do. And uh, we've already started in collecting some stuff and put them in little uh, miniature greenhouses. Uh -huh. So we're getting ready to transplant them once we can dig up the garden. But we have sunflowers. We have daisies. We have zucchinis. Oh, and cool. we have pumpkins. Oh. Pumpkins. So we already got some stuff going, but uh, we're always looking for more. So if you if you had, weren't involved in the original meeting, come on down to May second and uh, four o'clock May second at the youth center, and uh, we'll start getting going with some new you know, new things we can plant, and we'll get that garden started. That is very cool. Um, tell me about coming up at the end of this month in a few weeks the Smart Girls program. Um, yes, what we're starting to do now is is we've had programs for boys and girls clubs spread out throughout the month. Mm -hmm. um, we have Torch Club and Keystone Club, which are leadership programs for the youth to to speak and get their voices heard. And we also have Smart Girls program, um, Passport to Manhood, and Smart Moves. And what we're trying to do now is combine that into one week at the end of the month to see if we can draw a bigger crowd of youth. Um, to keep a more consistent involvement. Um, so the first one we're doing is on May 27th at 5 p.m. and it's called the Smart Girls Program. And it's an opportunity for uh, female youth to congregate, gather together, isolated from the male youth, talk with our female staff, and it's a program that promotes um, positive self-esteem, positive self-image, and positive health issues that um, young females face today. So that's gonna be May 27th at 5 p.m. at the Youth Center. Um, as for that program and any of the programs I'm talking about right now, there is no special sign up for this. So any young lady in grades six through 12 who's in the youth center wants to come May 27th at 5 p.m., all they have to do is show up. So very cool great program. And coming up the next day, is that is it kind of the, the guy's version, the guy's turn with the passport to manhood? That's exactly what it is. It's man time, May 28th. <laughs> um, we call it passport to manhood. And again, it's an opportunity for young males um, to sit and talk and go through a structured program, fun activities as well, um, you know, but be, maybe able to express themselves more um, when they're 
just amongst themselves and, and not have to worry about putting up a front for the females. Exactly. You know, I, I still do that, so <laughs> I, I know what that's like. But it's the same thing. We talk about, um, you know, uh, positive self-esteem, um, how, how to carry yourself in, in a in a positive way and reflect good character traits um, to everybody that you deal with throughout your life. Um, so it's a good opportunity for, for the young people to start in their you know high school and even younger age. Um, start to understand you know what it means to be have strong character and, and to influence others to, to have that strong character as well. And it's just kind of like in that laid back uh, group environment, kind of non judgmental. Absolutely, we um, call that youth center mode. You know, yeah. come on in and hang out, and uh, yeah, it's just a, a good good chance to relax and open up and. And hopefully you learn something along the way. Absolutely. And how does the Smart Moves on May 29th kind of tie into those two programs? Um, smart Moves is kind of a, a combination of the two. It's not gender specific. Um, it's more dealing with everyday peer pressures. Mm. Um, it's a program that uh, you know um, goes against an anti-smoking, anti-drinking. Um, there's some talk about anti-gangs. It's all about getting um, young people to build um, the proper tools um, to make smart decisions in their life, make smart moves. You know, there, you can go down the right path, you can go down the wrong path. Um, we want to give them the opportunity to make those decisions by themselves, to be comfortable to say, no, you know, that's not something I'm interested in doing. I'd rather make a more positive choice. So it deals with topics like that. Absolutely. And definitely good things to kind of lay the foundation for at a younger age. And I mean, those life skills carry on um, throughout your adult life. Yeah, absolutely. The sooner you can get that into, into young people's heads, um, you know, maybe it doesn't hit them right away. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, later on down the life when they may face this certain challenge that we spoke about, they'll remember, hey, you know, th there's a better option out there for me to take. Absolutely. And then uh, concluding with healthy habits on May 30th. Yes, healthy habits. That's uh, turning into almost like a cooking club. Oh, cool. Um, but it's so much more than that. But the, the youth really enjoy um, food. So, <laughs> so why not throw some food out there for them? Um, but it's an opportunity to learn healthy habits. You know, they learn uh, we do things like grocery grocery store scavenger hunts, you know, looking for the labels and, and healthy things like that. We cook um, healthy snacks, um, healthy meals, give them recipe opportunities, and we almost create our own recipe book as the program oh, cool. goes on. Um, so on May 30th at 6 p.m., <coughs> they're actually going to be doing Korean glass noodle. Ooh. Yes, so we're going to turn it into a little cultural activity as well. Uh, our Korean staff is going to help us um, make a healthy uh, Korean noodle dish on May 30th at 6 p.m., definitely check that out and those and all the other programs that we've talked about are all free over at the Camp Humphreys um, Teen Center so definitely head over there throughout the month of May and back check in the them studio out. with Jared from the Camp Humphreys CYSS program and uh, we've kind of been talking today and really over the last week about the different cancellations and postponements of events over there at Camp Humphreys and you have one that you just wanted to get out um, from the the CYSS side of the house. Um, just a postponement, not a cancellation. Absolutely, just a postponement. Uh, we're going to do a, a zip lining trip we had scheduled for May 31st. We are going to go ahead and postpone that. Um, we don't have a final date um, set as of right now, but we're hoping to go uh, mid to late June um, when the youth get out of school. Um, hopefully, it'll be good for us to uh, give the kids something again to do. Uh, when school's out. But uh, May 31st is not going to happen, but uh, we're hoping to get it going again in June. Absolutely. And we'll have more um, information on that when it becomes available. And there is a uh, definite date decided. And one of the cool programs that I was just pretty much, I don't know if it, shocked is the right word or like pumped up, psyched when I heard about it when I got here, is the YCTV program that you guys have going on. And me being a broadcaster, kind of doing this for a living over the past eight years or so, I was super excited to hear about how you guys are letting the youth kind of try their hand at broadcast journalists uh, journalism over at Camp Humphreys. Tell me a little bit about what YCTV is. Uh, yes, it's really a great, uh, amazing opportunity for the young people. Um, first of all, to see that what you do, you do for it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we have some great people um, helping the youth out from our public affairs office, um, our interns um, with the public affairs office from the from local Korean colleges, universities. Um, and what they do is they partner up with uh, youth volunteers, and it's basically a free internship program for a high school student. Um, they have a full TV studio. Um, TV cameras, green screen, um, wow. teleprompters, I mean, some other items in there that I'm not <laughs> even sure what they are. Um, the youth who are participating know what they are by now and know how to work them much more better than I do. Um, but I can't say enough about what a great, um, you know, career experience they can get um, by taking part in YCTV. 
Um, it looks great on uh, college application. You know, if they're looking for uh, extracurricular activities, um, this is something that is not offered in most places. Um, I, I can't think of anywhere in you know the military world where um, military youth have this opportunity to take part in this free program um, and get this life and educational experience um, working and producing their own television show, which is basically what they're doing. It's so awesome, and I you know I've never heard of it either. And you know when you say oh I have my own TV studio, well you know some people have like their own quote unquote TV studios in their basement with you know like a a ten dollar camcorder and they upload it to YouTube. No, they are super official over at YC TV. I think you guys have the same equipment, if not better equipment, than we have here at AFN. So, I mean, it is the real deal, professional grade stuff. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's, a, it's a professional um, enterprise. You know, this isn't uh, the teenager with their iPhone yeah. you know, putting their karaoke up on YouTube. No, th this is an actual television show where um, we have, they have produced uh, different segments. It, it's... Um, we have segments called Lingo Swap, where they, they go into the community and, and learn different Korean phrases, um, things of that nature. Um, we have a career corner where oh, youth cool. get the chance to sit down with somebody in the community and, and actually conduct an interview, um, you know, asking them about their career, yeah. uh, you know, what it's like, what are the challenges. Um, and we also do uh, things that kind of market and advertise what the teams are up to. We have a game on segment uh, where the youth uh, come together and highlight maybe a certain video game or something that's going on at the youth center. So everything is, is very thought out, um, very scripted. Um, it's, it's an unpaid internship and it's a great opportunity um, for youth to be involved. And the best part about it is we need more people. We need more young people that, that want to do this. Uh, maybe you're not comfortable being in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. That's no problem. There's tons of jobs behind the camera. Um, there's tons of great technology that they can work with, um, putting together segments, putting together graphics, um, just taking photos, um, putting the different segments together. There's so much behind the scenes um, work that goes into producing this television show. Um, and I really wanted to talk about it today because I think now that uh, school is wrapping up, uh, you know, sports seasons are going to be ending, you know, maybe some of the um, younger people, high school students, have some free time on their hands. And I want them to be aware that this opportunity is available for them um, to get started uh, this summer. Um, all they have to do is come into the youth center, give me a call at 753-5614. Um, and it's very simple. Um, I I'll get them in touch with the, the people who help run the show. I'll get them in touch with the young people who are already a part of it. And we'll find a spot for you. Um, so if this is something you think you may be interested in, uh, give me a call and, and check it out. Because it really is an unbelievable opportunity that... Um, that can really only be taken advantage uh, of while you're here at Camp Humphreys. Exactly. And uh, if we want to maybe log on and check out the show from YCTV um, before, maybe just check it out and see if it's is something we want to be involved in, um, where can we see the show at? Well, you can go to the Camp Humphreys YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. um, we have their own uh, playlist that is oh, cool. just YCTV. They have the full episodes. They have it broken down in different segments so you can watch different portions. Um, so if you're looking to, you know, kind of watch it and, and see if you want to get involved with it, don't watch my segment because I'm not <laughs> any good at it. Why watch, watch the youth because um, I have one segment here where I do some talking and that's not going to get you involved. We want, we want you to watch the good stuff. Um, but uh, seriously, um, the different segments are all up there on YouTube um, and it's also aired on the Command Channel if you live on post at Camp Humphreys. It's Channel 3, um, basically almost on a continuous loop. It, it, it's a monthly show, so there's a new show put out there every month. Um, they run for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes and wow. put different commercial stuff in there as well. To, it's a professional television show and it's something to you know, really encourage people to get involved with. Absolutely. So cool. Check it out. YCTV, just head into um, the Teen Center and they can hook you up with uh, anything that you want to do getting involved with YCTV, whether you want to be in front of the camera, behind the camera, on the editing suite, anything you want to do, they can hook you up if, with if it. If you're interested, we will find you a spot. <laughs> Absolutely. Stay tuned. We're going to have more with Jared here on AFN. Got more stuff to talk about with Camp Humphrey CYSS. Jared in the house with us today. And um, a huge event that you guys did last year, bringing it back for the second year, the Teen Summer Jam. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, ma'am. This is going to be our second annual Teen Summer Jam. Um, and, and what it is, it's, uh, it started out last year as a, a partnership with the MWR BOSS program. Mm -hmm. um, each year the BOSS program designs a beach blast, blast for single soldiers and they go out and have a you know, fun recreational good time at a beach. Last year it was on Daecheon Beach, um, this year it's actually on Yanpo Beach. Cool. Um, and what we were able to do last year is kind of get enough interest in youth to sign up and 
talk with the the boss program and they allowed us to come in onto the beach um, after the soldiers had left um, and we get to utilize some of the leftover recreational facilities activities that the outdoor recreation department brings out and it gives us an opportunity to have a fun um, event you know with with the with the youth as well after the soldiers leave for the weekend definitely so the soldiers get to hang out on the weekends and then you guys come in for a couple of days and do kind of the same outdoor rec bring stuff to um, kind of play with and it's just a really great event and it's not just Camp Humphreys that goes out to the teen summer jam right oh absolutely not um, that's one of the best parts about it is um, the army has a thing called the Pacific teen panel um, where representatives from each army garrison in the Pacific region um, discuss issues, bring up topics um, that affect them um, on a monthly basis. Um, and at the end of the year, they take what's called a youth leadership forum uh, mm -hmm. trip, and they're going to Camp Zama, Japan this year. Oh, cool. So that's called the YLF. Um, and part of the program is they also want the, each installation to uh, conduct what they call a mini YLF. Um, so what we do here in Korea is we get the other garrisons involved with uh, Yongsan, Daegu, Red Cloud, and us, Camp Humphreys. Um, we come together, um, it's starting to be this every year on the beach, um, and we put together some team building activities as well. Um, and it's a chance for the youth um, to put their own activities together. Um, just fun games on the beach, um, teaching team building, teaching character counts, um, and a chance for the youth to come together, bond, and get to know one another. Um, so we combine that into the weekend's activities um, with all the fun stuff that we do on the beach on top of that. Plus, we have a dance at the night. We have the DJ coming Ooh. out there. Um, we'll have a bonfire one night. Um, the best part about this one is last year we were able to go for one night. Um, and the biggest feedback we got from the youth after that <laughs> trip was, let's do an extra day. They yeah. want to do, do more than one day. <laughs> want to stay longer, absolutely. So like I always say, we always try to do what the youth want. Um, so we're going to go for two nights this time. Um, and I want to talk about it today because I want to get the save the date out there. Um, we're going to be heading out there on Sunday, June 22nd and returning on Tuesday, June 24th. So definitely uh, mark that down in your calendars. Put it in uh, put it in your phone so you don't forget. How um, do we go about registering for this uh, teen summer jam? Um, well, the registration uh, permission slips will be coming out soon, uh, okay. probably within the next week. We're still working on finalizing. Um, there's going to be a slight cost for the event. Mm -hmm. um, we're still uh, finalizing that to see what we need to cover uh, hotel costs um, and transportation and things of that nature. Um, but we don't charge. It's not going to be like a two hundred dollar fee. It's mm -hmm. going to be uh, just minimal to cover some of our expenses. Um, so once we have that absolutely finalized, which should happen in the next week or so, um, then we'll have permission slips that they will need to fill out, and those can be picked up at Building 427 at the Youth Center and then um, returned to Parent Central, which is Building 570. Um, and we treat anybody who's gone on a trip with us, it's the same process. It's a permission slip, turn it in, um, and we get your name on the list. Um, so look uh, on our Facebook page, Humphrey CYSS Teen. Um, there should be an announcement coming up very, very soon about when exactly registration will be open and how exactly they can go about doing it. Perfect. Sounds great. Keep an eye out for that. We'll be right back here to wrap up with Jared and CYSS on AFNO on the And Eagles. I've uh, had the pleasure of having Jared from Camp Humphrey CYSS in the studio with me this hour talking about what an amazing program they have over there for the youth and teens at Camp Humphreys. Just tell us how we find more information and how we can get involved with you guys over there. Uh, well, uh, the easiest way is to go to Humphrey CYSS Teen uh, on the Facebook page, and you'll get all the latest information, schedules, and announcements. Um, anybody at Camp Humphreys in grades 6 to 12 is eligible to register with the Youth Center. It's free of charge. They need to just need to call the Parent Central Office at 753-3413 uh, to make an appointment and get registered. And while I'm talking about registration, uh, I know it's PCS season. We have a lot of new people. Um, we do offer a monthly youth orientation as well. Um, so this month in May is going to be on May 15th at 6 p.m., building 427. So if you're new to Camp Humphreys, come on into the Youth Center. No registration for that necessary. Just come on in, and, and I'll get you hooked up, give you all the tools that you need to get registered and signed up. Absolutely. And they're so awesome over there that you can just kind of uh, wander into the building and whatever questions you have, whatever you need, they will definitely try and take care of you. Absolutely. May 15th at 6 o'clock is the youth orientation, but if you want to come tomorrow at 3.13, I'll be there too and I'll orientate you then. Perfect, Jared. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much.